what's up? Today's video is going to be a first impression slash review on a brand new, super hyped up product. The only reason I bought this was because of TikTok. You guys know I love me a good TikTok viral makeup product, and I'm already super, super late to this train. I know there's been a thousand videos about this, but I didn't get a chance to film this earlier, and so I'm doing that right now. But this is the brand new KVD Vegan Beauty, which if you guys didn't know, KVD Vegan Beauty is the old Kat Von D brand, but she is no longer a part of this brand, so they like revamped things. It's still very similar like how it looks, but it's like a completely different brand now. And this is the brand new Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. And like I said, this foundation was going viral on TikTok and so many of you guys were tagging me in that girl's video, which she loved it and she has really, really dry skin like I do, so I was very excited to try this. There was also a viral TikTok that was going around showing how much oil was in this. Like they put a dot of this foundation on a paper and they were like checking in every two hours and the paper was just getting oilier and oilier and oilier oilier which got me really excited to be honest because my skin never gets oily and the older I get the more I wish it did the more I wish it did but okay we are going to test this bad boy out I'm gonna be doing a wear test right now it is currently 1243 and I'm gonna be wearing it for the rest of the day so I'm gonna do a check-in at the end of the night and show you how it looks but right now we're just gonna test it out so I got mine in the shade light 012 um, hopefully it matches me I know it's not super hygienic to like dunk your brush into this every time but that's how I'm gonna do it. But really quickly though, I'm gonna apply some primer. I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever Hydra Brewster Step 1 Primer. And I didn't wanna use something that was too hydrating or too moisturizing for my primer because I know this foundation is kind of balmy and oily. So I didn't wanna look like a greasy hot dog at the end of the day either. But this primer is perfect for just a little hydration and moisture, but not too much. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Liss Beauty foundation brush. I've actually been loving this brush so much and it's so cute. And I'm just gonna dip it right into the foundation. Right? Oh, that's a really good color match. I almost want to like put it on with my finger first just to see. Oh my gosh. It has a lot of coverage. Holy crap. The texture of this foundation is very balmy. Like the, it has the perfect name. It almost has the consistency of like a pot concealer. It's very, very creamy. I kind of feel like the warmth of my finger helps it blend into the skin better. But I also don't think this would apply well with a beauty blender, but I'm gonna try it anyway. I'm gonna do my forehead. Wow, this is thick. But like, I don't know, I like it with my finger. <laughs> So I added a little bit of that in between my brows. I have a pretty, I have a red birthmark right here and that covered it a bit, but I didn't apply too much. Let me see. Okay, really quickly, I'm gonna zoom you in so I can show you this side of my face versus this side. All right, taking my beauty blender, it's dirty. And I'm going in. Hmm, interesting. For some reason, I thought this was gonna look patchy. Like, I don't know, something about the water and the balmy, oily texture, I didn't think it was gonna work. But it looks good. I mean, I do think this side looks a little bit more smooth and not as textured. This side looks a little bit more textured, actually. I'm gonna see if blending it in with my fingers helps. I don't know, I really think this is a great foundation to apply with your fingers. I don't like applying foundation with my fingers ever at all, but the texture, it works. I don't feel like the two sides look that different at all. I think everything looks pretty good, nice and covered, full coverage, flawless, smooth. The only thing I will say is that it is a thicker, heavier foundation, although when I touch my face, it is not tacky at all. Wow, I thought that was gonna be tacky, it's not. But it is thicker, it's like a balm texture. Like you dab your brush in and a lot comes up. It's like a little bit stickier than other foundations. So I have a feeling it's going to sink into my lines. Like that thickness, I don't know if it's ideal around my smile lines. But besides that, honestly, I like it. I think my skin looks really, really good. Like everything looks smooth and even. Honestly, it only looks slightly heavy 
here on top of my pores. Like I don't think it's the best for pores. If you have really large pores, this might sink into them. I mean, all foundations sink into pores, but you know what I mean? This will emphasize your pores a little bit more than other foundations, I believe in my opinion. But I mean, so far so good. The area around my nose does look a little bit heavy, like in between my brows and around my nose. And that tends to be the case, especially with thicker foundations like this. So we'll see how it wears. It doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look crusty, but it's just a little bit of settling there. But okay, I'm going to go do the rest of my makeup really quick. Uh, BRB. Okay, so it's been like 18 hours since the last time you saw me. I actually got off camera, I did my makeup, and then I got on a call at 1 p.m. And I got off the call five minutes ago and it's 6.35 and I wish I was kidding. I wish I was kidding, but I got on a work call that lasted five and a half hours. Honestly, I can't feel my butt, but my foundation looks all right. I actually took a pause during my meeting, like around five o'clock. I pretended like I needed to go to the bathroom and then I quickly sat here and recorded a close up of my foundation. So I'm gonna insert that right now. This is what it looked like about an hour and a half ago. So like four hours after applying it. And honestly, I think it looks pretty good. I'm actually really impressed with my smile lines. Like right now it's been almost six hours and I thought my smile lines were gonna be a lot worse than they are. And I thought I was gonna be a little bit dewier by now as well. Honestly, let's do a close up to my skin right now. Even the area around my nose isn't that bad. I thought it was gonna look super, super heavy by this point, but look, my lip liner looks crazy. But even the rest of my skin looks really good. My smile lines aren't too, too noticeable. I mean, they're there, you know. The little line that has formed right here, it's also there, but it's not. I mean, I do this a lot. What can I expect? But overall, I think my skin looks pretty good. And I was gonna tell you guys earlier before I got on my call that I didn't have time. As I was applying my bronzer, I felt that it was going on really smoothly. I didn't feel like it was applying patchy at all. And honestly, during my call, I was like this a lot. So this side of my face might be a little bit patchy, but that's my fault. Overall though, I think it looks pretty decent. It's not my favorite foundation in the whole world, but I do like the coverage. I like how my skin looks so far. I'm still gonna wear this a little bit longer, maybe for like another three to four hours just to see. But I mean, so far so good. I think if you have dry skin, you might really, really like it if you're looking for a hydrating foundation that's not dewy. Because as I was applying it, I was like, wow, it's actually drying kind of like satin-like. I wouldn't say it has a dewy finish at all. You can tell it has like that oily balm texture, but it doesn't dry oily. It doesn't feel oily, but all right. It's 6.41, so I will see you guys in a few hours. All right, welcome back. It is 10.39 p.m., and I am so sleepy. I woke up so early today that I'm like, Falling asleep already, but I have my thoughts. I started to notice around the eight hour mark that it was getting kind of heavy on my cheeks. And I don't know if you can tell in the close up, but the foundation just looks a little bit heavy over my pores. It kind of looks like it has collected in that area. I don't know how to explain it, but it just looks very textured underneath my eyes, around my nose, and basically on the apples of my cheeks, which is funny because this foundation is called Good Apple, but my apples don't look that good. Honestly, I mean, from a distance, my skin looks really good. Like I think it's fine. I wouldn't say anything looks really, really terrible. Nothing is necessarily a deal breaker, but I have a lot of foundations in my collection, like you guys know, and this one definitely isn't my favorite. I'm not like blown away. I don't look oily or anything. I mean, I can see how some oil has peeked through on my forehead a bit, but my skin looks pretty good. I see it like satiny smooth. So I wouldn't say it's a foundation that really breaks down a lot throughout the day and gets kind of oily. That's not my experience at least, but it does get like more textury and it does look heavier throughout the day. Like the longer it was on my skin, the heavier it looked. And that definitely has to do with the texture of this foundation. Like I said, it's very thick and balmy. This might be better for you if you have dry skin, but it's also kind of smooth. You don't have that much texture or your pores aren't that large because I don't know, I feel like it collects in certain areas of my face. But besides that, I mean, it did hold up pretty well. The rest of my makeup is still on. I mean, it's a little bit patchy, like I said, so not the best, but it's there. Like I said, if I had to rank this, I definitely wouldn't put it in my top five, but it's not a bad foundation. I do like it, so I guess it's up to you. I'm sorry, my first impressions freaking suck. I don't know how I still have a YouTube channel. But anyway, guys, that's th those are my thoughts. It's like, it's all right. I definitely prefer my Makeup Forever foundation stick, my Huda Beauty foundation stick. I prefer the Fenty Beauty hydrating foundation, the Il Maquillage one, my Revlon Color Stay. There are other ones that I like more than this. What do you guys think? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, guys, that completes this video. I would love to know your thoughts down below. Have you tried this foundation out? Did it live up to the hype? Did it not? I'd love to know. Leave me your comments down below. But that completes this video, guys. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.